Much better. Okay. Good morning. Welcome, everyone. You all made it to Ballarat. So I hear getting to Ballarat isn't actually as hard as what a lot of people told me it would be. Um, it's great to see you all here. We're thrilled to be able to have uh, LCA here in Ballarat for 2012. Um, it, it's great that we've able to um, get so many people here and um, we hope you all have a great week. Um, so what is LCA 2012? Um, it's made up of eight mini conferences, which you'll all be aware of, happening uh, throughout today. Uh, 80 talks throughout the uh, main conference week, uh, plus our four keynotes happening uh, each morning. Um, we're thrilled to say we have just under 25% uh, female speaker ratio. Um, whilst you know, we'd love to get, see that up around the 50% mark, uh, that's been improving year upon year for linux.conf.au uh, and we were thrilled to um, hit that 25, or come very close to hitting that 25% mark. Um, it's a similar percentage, uh, yes, please. As far as uh, delegate registration goes, we're, we're a little bit under that figure, but uh, above 20% for female representation there too. Uh, a big thank you goes out there to the ADA initiative, uh, who have put a lot of work in in this regard, uh, and it's clearly bearing fruit as far as we're concerned. So um, fantastic effort from the ADA initiative as well. All up, we have just shy of 500 attendees uh, coming to LCA 2012 this year, um, which is a bit fantastic. We were, when we started down this path of uh, the Ballarat conference, we were a little bit worried that uh, people wouldn't want to come to Ballarat, uh, would consider it too far away, but um, really we're, we're thrilled with how we've gone uh, attendance-wise. Uh, and our team is made up of 30 organisers and volunteers, for which I cannot thank enough. Um, they've done a, a power of work over the last well, six months for the organisers and last week with the volunteers, it's just been fantastic and uh, everything's come together fairly well. Yeah. So this opening session, I'm just going to run through some general hints, tips, ways to survive the week. Um, for those who attended Rusty's uh, newcomer session yesterday, some of this material will be the same. Um, some of it is specific to this year. So. The volunteers are the people in the red shirts as opposed to the blue conference shirts. Um, they are friendly for the most part. Um, please approach them with any questions. If they look stressed or harried, please forgive them. It's been a long week, uh, but they will try to help you out. For any generic inquiries though, um, and you can't find anyone around, please do just head to the registration desk uh, as they've got all the info and can summon up all the people um, who need to answer your questions. All right, where's my power? Everybody loves power at the next conference. Um, we have, for two reasons, decided that power will be available in the back three to four rows of each room only. Um, firstly, this is because we don't want people just coming into a lecture theatre to sit there uh, just to get the power, um, and they're not interested in the talk. If you do want to do that, well, you sit up the back of the room. Um, the second is because we don't have that much power. Uh, where's my Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi should be up everywhere now, I think. Um, and a huge, huge round of applause uh, needs to go uh, out to the network team here. They haven't slept yet. Um, they were up all last night, and I'm told that Wi-Fi should now be available in all conference areas, um, all, all conference presentation areas. Uh, and the schedule. Okay, most of you will probably seen the conference booklet by now. Uh, and noted that it doesn't contain uh, a schedule or speaker information in it. This is a conscious decision on our part. Um, to print that is a, a, approximately 50 pages, um, so it's, it would have basically tripled the size of the booklet, and we're trying to keep the, um, the printing on dead trees down as much as we can. Um, I don't know how other people felt, but um, I always think that by sort of Tuesday, the uh, printed version of the schedule is pretty much out of date anyway, uh, and you find yourself uh, turning up to talks that are a bit different to what you thought. Oh, woo, woo. Back, 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 back. Um, there goes that surprise. Um, but <laughs> the schedule, the latest schedule, is always available on the website. Um, that is the absolute canonical reference. Uh, if it's on the website, that's what we, are con we believe should be happening in any given room at any given time. If you must have a dead tree version of the schedule to take around with you, to annotate with your pen and that sort of thing, uh, printed versions will be available each morning uh, at the registration desk. 
Um, please, please, please wear your badges to absolutely everything that's conference related. Um, that includes breakfast in the mornings, it includes all the talks during the day, and it includes all the, um, the official events happening of an evening. If you don't wear your badge and you are turned away from uh, a dinner, for example, we're not going to have any sympathy for you. If you are not wearing your badge and you're in a talk and you're asked to leave, we will still not have any sympathy for you. Please, please, please wear your badges. Um, we, we need that. We need to see that people are actually official conference delegates. So please keep those uh, around your neck at all times. Uh, pace yourself. It can be a very long week at LCA. Um, the weather sounds like it's, well, it's not going to be stinking hot, will be uh, reasonably warm throughout the week. Um, I think we're, we're going to dip into the 30s a little bit. Uh, so please just take care of yourself. Um, we do have a, a doctor on staff. Um, and if you call the conference on-call number or the conference director number that's listed on your badges, um, we can get in contact with them if there is a problem. In case of any emergencies though, please do dial triple zero, which is the uh, emergency number here in Australia. Um, there's a lot going on throughout the week. People have parties, people go drinking, there's a lot going on. We don't want you to end up looking like that. All that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. It, it, just take it easy. A few more things. Coffee. Everyone loves coffee. Um, all our professional and speaker delegates uh, should have received five coffee tokens uh, with your badge. Uh, these are redeemable at either of the cafes, um, which will make you good coffee, or there is a, a roving mobile coffee cart getting around throughout the week. Um, you also should have received a, a coffee mug, those people, so please feel free to uh, just hand your coffee mug over and they should be able to fill that one up for you. Uh, sharing and caring, everybody loves to, to share things these days. Um, the hashtag officially for the conference is LCA2012 or hash LCA2012, um, whether it be on Flickr, Twitter, Google+, whatever your, your poison happens to be as far as social media, um, please go ahead and, and use that tag. Okay, buses. Um, we are a regional university and we are located somewhat uh, outside the city of Ballarat or the, the CBD area for Ballarat. Um, so there is quite a bit of transport required throughout the week. Um, we, where possible, have tried to run buses that we, we feel will benefit the most people. Um, so any official conference events that are going on will have buses. Um, some unofficial conference events have buses running for them too. Anyone who came from the uh, off-site accommodation venues this morning, I apologise in advance for the buses not showing up. Um, we, we called the bus company this morning and they apologised that they forgot. So they will be coming for the rest of the week. They're not sure what happened. I can only apologise um, to you. Please check the wiki page for buses. It has schedules and timetables that I promise you will be followed for the rest of the week. Um, try and align yourselves with those. Um, there, are, there should be excess buses for most events, so th there shouldn't be any shortage, um, but you do need to be there in time for them to leave. Um, the photo competition. We are running a photo competition this week. Uh, there's a great prize at the end of that with, that we'll announce later in the week. Um, the URL for that is slash photocom on the website. Um, there are a couple of little caveats with this. You, you can submit two photos each day. Um, they will be moderated photos. Um, the big gotcha here is that you need to be considerate to other people. Uh, if somebody doesn't want their photo taken, please don't push the issue. If you have taken a photo of someone and they ask you to remove that photo, please comply with that request. Um, it comes down to, and we will stress this throughout the week, it is the conference rule number one and it is written on the back of your badge, please be excellent to one another. Uh, it's a great rule to live by and we hope as many people can do that throughout the week. Just respect other people. Um, other than that, the photo comp should be a lot of fun. If people are taking photo of you and they're, they're not removing photos or they're not stopping, please find someone in a red shirt and they'll be able to help you out. We hope it doesn't happen, but um, you never know. Uh, birds of a feather. Okay, birds of a feather sessions are uh, short, or, or sorry, impromptu uh, talks that, that can um, sort of overflow from corridor conversations in, and get a room and that sort of thing. Um, if you wish to sign up for one in advance, please use the wiki page. Um, just so we can set aside a room for you and you, you'll be good to go. Um, for the most part, we're using the Studio 1, 2 and 3 rooms down the side. 
Um, if you, they are all full up when you want to run your, your session though, let us know and there's a very good chance we can dig up another room for you. Uh, drinks. Everybody likes that. Well, a lot of, most people like to have a drink and we don't want to stop you from having a drink at all. Um, if you're on campus, we don't mind you having a drink. The campus people don't mind you having a drink. Please though, no glass outside. That this is not um, uh, an issue of you not drinking or not having fun. This is a problem of, of, of safety. We don't want glass smashing everywhere that's going to injure people and it has to be cleaned up. Should you want to drink outside and you've got glass, put it into another container and you'll be fine. Um, but we do request you no glass outside there. Uh, drinking and driving, it, it's a no-no. Everybody should know this. It's common sense stuff. Victoria does have a, a 0.05 uh, blood alcohol limit for anyone who's driving. Um, we highly recommend though that if you have been drinking at all that you refrain from driving throughout the week. We don't want to hear anybody having any accidents. We don't want to see LCA marred by, um, by any um, crashes or that sort of thing. The rule number one, as I mentioned, be excellent to one another, please. It's a fairly simple rule um, and if you keep it in the back of your mind it will um, help everyone have a great week. Okay, best of talks. We have four best of sessions that we'll be running later in the week. Um, I'm a big fan of these sessions. Um, every time I've been to Linux conference in the past, I've heard a great talk after, or I've heard of, about a great talk after it's happened and I really wished I could go and see it. Um, this gives you the chance. Um, we're holding two at uh, 1.20 on Friday and another two following that up at 2.20. Um, they are selection by vote from you. So we need your input here to um, get people voting uh, and to get the, the absolute best talks happening for Friday afternoon. Uh, if you hear about a talk that you didn't see and you wish to, please jump on and vote. The way it works, everyone gets four votes. These votes can be used by you in any way you wish. Um, you can vote once on four talks, four on one talk, two on two talks. Whatever you like, they are your votes to distribute as you wish. Um, there is no voting for keynotes or your own talk, sorry. Um, and there's no voting for mini conf presentations either. Vote sorry? You vote against your own talk? Yeah. <laughs> we'll work on that. <laughs> um, the voting closes 5 p.m. Thursday, so uh, I'm very, very sorry to the people who are talking Friday morning. Um, but we do need a little bit of time to organise these in the afternoon, so uh, it will be closed off Thursday night. Uh, and we'll be announcing the successful talks on Friday morning. How do you vote? Right there. <laughs> uh, please go to that site. It, it should have all the talks listed there uh, and you, you hopefully should have all your, your voting privileges ready to go there now. Okay, we are running a raffle throughout the week. Um, it's a, a tradition of, of Linux conference that we like to raise a bit of money uh, where we can. Uh, and this year we've, we've chosen to support the uh, Country Fire Authority. Um, for those not from Victoria who, who are unaware of what the CFA do, um, throughout summer the CFA uh, do an amazing job here in Victoria fighting bushfires. Uh, even when it's, it's not the stinking hot problematic years that we, we've had in the past, they're doing great work um, every, every week uh, to put out fires. When we do have the enormous bushfires that we've had in the past, um, these are the guys putting their lives on the line uh, and we think they're a fantastic organisation. Um, particularly given that we're a regional conference, uh, we are set in bushland here where we are um, as much as anyone vulnerable to things like bushfires. Uh, so we think they're a fantastic organisation. We, we, we hope you feel the same. We'll be giving some more information about the CFA throughout the week. Um, but in the meantime, the tickets are $2 per ticket or three for $5. They are available from the registration desk. Uh, and we'll be selling those all week. The prize is one of these, if you would like to win such a thing. We have options uh, on, as far as the prize go. You can take a physical one home should you wish or we can issue you a voucher to be shipped if you are travelling back overseas. So no one should feel that, um, that they can't win one of these because it'll be too bulky to get back. We, um, we can work either way. Uh, is it a kit? It is a kit. Yeah. That is half the fun. We <laughs> We would, yeah, we, we wouldn't give away a pre-built one. That's, that's half the fun. Um, as far as prizes go, there's no prizes this morning, but I urge you all to come along throughout the week because we do have some prizes to give away uh, prior to the keynotes each day. We wouldn't be here without the, um, 
the amazing help that we get from our sponsors. Um, really, th this is a great conference and there are a number of parties that, that make this happen as far as um, financial support goes. And we just wish to run through them here because they have been fantastic and um, we wouldn't be here without them. Our two Emperor sponsors, uh, IBM and Internode. IBM, a long-term supporter of the conference. Um, we are more than, th we are certainly very thankful, sorry, um, that they are willing to participate in the conference after all these years. Um, and they're, they're a huge player in the open source industry now. Um, so it's fantastic to have them on board. Internode, first time Internode has sponsored the conference. Um, for those who are following the IT news, uh, there's been a bit of a shake-up with Internode recently. Um, but we've had their support on board for near on 12 months. We were approached by them a week after LCA in Brisbane, uh, and they've been there, um, right there beside us for, the, for 12 months now. So they've been fantastic. A huge round of applause for both those companies. Thank you. Thank you. Our King Penguin sponsors, um, all three of these companies, again, huge supporters of linux.conf.au uh, for many years now. Um, it, it's easy to become complacent with, with these sorts of sponsors, just expecting them to be on board every year. Um, but honestly, we could not be here without their support. Um, that they've been just amazing for our, our conference and everything that you, you see around you, whether it be the events that are going on, whether it be the gear that arrived in the swag bag and that sort of thing, none of it would be happening without these, with the support of these companies. Um, our speaker's travel sponsor was Ballarat Regional Tourism. If you are a speaker um, and you were given any sort of financial aid to come to the conference, these are the people you need to be thanking. Um, being a regional conference, we've had a lot of support from the local council, from Ballarat Regional Tourism and from local business. Um, it, it does make a huge difference to us that the community is able to be involved uh, in a conference such as this. Uh, it's very different to if the conference was being run, for example, in Melbourne. Um, where it can sort of fade into the background. In Ballarat, this conference is a, is a huge issue. It's, it's 500 people coming for a week, uh, which is significant for the community. Our Royal Penguin sponsors, uh, Catalyst IT, uh, again, another fantastic supporter of the conference for many years now. They, the, these guys are a, a, a true blue down-to-earth Linux company. Um, that they are really salt of the earth, open source people. Um, so that it's fantastic to have them supporting a, a grassroots conference such as this. Bulletproof Hosting, again, long time supporter of the conference and, and we couldn't thank them all for, for being part of it this year. Okay, there's a slide missing here. Right, okay, Blue Penguin sponsors. <laughs> that was a little bit odd. Uh, DSD uh, and Anchor Hosting, uh, again, uh, both have been fantastic to work with throughout the year um, and we appreciate their support. Uh, our supporting partners, that these are people that haven't contributed uh, financially to the conference but have supported in other ways. Uh, 15 Trees, we are attempting to run this conference in a, uh, a net carbon zero manner where possible. Uh, most of you probably would have seen on the registration form uh, to tick the box to add another $5 to make you carbon neutral for the event. Um, and we've had big support from 15 Trees to help make this happen. Uh, Yum Productions, who, who've um, been assisting us with our graphic design and that sort of thing. Freetronics, who, who liked seeing the Leo sticks in their bag? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Huge round of applause for Freetronics. Uh, Xerus Wi-Fi Networks, wow, these guys do amazing things. Um, they arrived last night and we had no Wi-Fi, and I came in this morning and we have Wi-Fi everywhere. So it's the, those guys do an amazing effort, um, as do our network team who are helping them out and we're again up all night. Uh, Big Air, if you uh, are using the internet over in the residences there, say thank you to Big Air because they've put that in place and, and made that happen. Uh, and Linux New Media who, who've provided some support for us throughout the um, uh, promoting the conference and that sort of thing. So that about wraps it up and we are back to morning tea now. Uh, morning tea will be served over in the cafeteria area. Um, if you follow the, the signs and the arrows out to that one, I hope you all have a morning tea, good morning tea, um, and enjoy the uh, mini conferences. Thanks everyone.